Hello everyone, today I'm working on growing bonsai mango trees from seeds. The previous set of trees that I was growing, there was a disaster and it's covered in part 8 and uh, I lost all the trees due to them having got cold. Last year I started growing again and they have grown to different heights and I've got about five plants. Four of them are Indian mango trees and grown from seeds taken from imports of mangoes from India. And the fifth one is Kent variety and the mango came from West Africa. These are the five trees and as you can see they have done very differently. The progress has been very different. Some have grown better than others. And this little fella here is the West African Kent variety. I'm going to be repotting them and the sign that they need repotting is when you water uh, the uh, uh, plants and the water just stays at the top for a long time. It has difficulty getting through. And besides, it's a year since I uh, 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 put them in these pots, uh, it's time that they were repotted. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be repotting them in these terracotta pots and I have uh, put large pebbles to cover the drainage hole and then uh, sort of grit. And I've also prepared soil mix. Now mango trees prefer well-drained uh, soil but uh, with, uh, and rich in organic matter. So what I've done is I've uh, used half Akadama cat stroke cat litter and 50% John Inez number three professional growers compost. And uh, what I'm going to do is take out the first tree from this pot. I may have to cut it, not quite sure if it'll come out. We'll see. This one was planted on the 12th of June 16. It's just uh, over, over a year ago, uh, after it had uh, germinated. Right, here we are. It's come out quite easily. Plenty of grit at the bottom. And we'll remove the uh, soil and see where we are at. I will actually trim the, uh, these roots. It's uh, doubling back on itself, so we'll just have to take a chance. There we are. So that's on and we'll keep the rest of it and uh, I'll tidy up and we'll catch up shortly. I have started putting the, so the uh, soil mix in, there it is, and I'm going to add in between the layers some chicken pellets and uh, then more soil and we are going to put the two trees in, in the same pot. And uh, this one I'm not going to do very much with the roots, so we'll just leave it as is and plant it like that. I'm not using wires to secure these. Um, let them grow freely. And also they are being kept indoors, so there's very low risk of them being blown about by the winds. Just give the uh, chopsticks a go and drive the soil in between the roots. There isn't a great deal to do here. The roots are sort of reasonably clear and not a tangled mass. So that should do. I'm going to quickly give it a soaking and so that's our first tree, our first two trees reported. This is going to be a twin trunk, I think. We'll see how they develop. I'm going to give the tree a thorough soak. And the water is coming through the bottom. It's very, very 
as of uh, easy draining soil mix that I've prepared and that really should do and this one I will now put to one side and we'll get cracking on the second one I'm going to continue and repot the other three I have completed repotting all the five trees and I've also given them a very thorough soaking and I've placed plenty of uh, stones uh, around the pot to secure them because some of them are quite tall compared to the uh, the root system that they have and the roots just aren't able to support the tree and until they develop more feeder roots and get established in these pots and as you can see the stones in the pots are holding the trees in place and uh, these are the, 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 the one on the right is the largest of the five trees and uh, this one here is the West African Kent variety it's very slow um, it was uh, planted in its previous pot back in May about a month before the others it germinated in May and was planted in its previous pot in May that's all for today Thank you for watching and to watch more, please subscribe. This is Iqbal Khan for Big Bonsai in West London. Until next time. And now for the afterthought. In Spain, there is a tradition that after every bullfight to serve the mare with the bull's testicles. One day after a bullfight, the mare asked the waiter, why are they so small today? And the waiter replied, Senor, the bull won today. You dig? <laughs>